Alrighty, I wanted to make a little short video here, which uh, I thought would be rather handy. A lot of times you want to take wires like this and splice them in a running splice. And you tie them in a knot and they look like a lump and they just don't work that good. So one of the things I've seen before and I started making for myself is little couplers. Here's one of the little couplers. Basically, it's just a piece of number 22 gauge wire wound on this drill as a mandrel and that works out pretty easily uh, you can make them up really quick I have the drill bit in here and I just stick the wire into the center like that and then I pull the trigger if I can do this cleanly and it just winds right up and that's it it's that simple if I can get this off of here now Sometimes it doesn't want to slide off. And of course the camera's on, so it's not going to slide off. It's going to make me a liar. It's just a drill bit I put in backwards. I used the smallest drill bit that I wanted. <clears throat> and now I have the little wire assembly. So you can see that it does its thing. Get the camera off the stand. And these are what they look like. And I got a whole bunch of them. Uh, they used to sell them. But the idea is you can put your wire inside of here on both ends and then solder it. An example of what it looks like when we're all done is this is the same connector. I'm trying to hold things with one hand. And this is the splice. And if you look at the splice, you see it's a nice straight even thing. It's not a lump. The, each end of the wires has been stripped like a quarter of an inch and then inserted into the... Um, little gizmo and then it's soldered and then uh, insulation slips over it makes it very sturdy very easy to use um, arrangement there camera doesn't like to focus on things at times so there we have it and it's just as easily as done as you just put it in the drill if we can get it focus on the drill just put it a wire in the drill and uh, hit the drill uh, trying to get this thing focused here and why is this focusing such a problem today I don't know there's the drill in focus anyway it's the little spiral of wire and you can use this for many things you can make them any size you want quarter inch if you choose to so that'll give you the opportunity to um, do like number 10 gauge wires or whatever the heck you'd want to do with it. Um, it. It just makes it all really quite simple. And I used to sell them, but I found that you can make them pretty darn easily. And I've been using them all the time. Now, these are made the length of the drill bit, but you could use them a lot shorter. And depending on the diameter of the inner hole, you could make it so the wire comes in from both directions and then that way it's even shorter. But it makes a nice splice. You solder it up. It's tinned copper, so it works real well. And then uh, you just slide slip uh, insulation over it and heat it up and get yourself a real dandy solid splice that uh, is sturdy and going to hold itself together, as I show here again. So just a little thought, something people might be interested in. But it's so easy to make on your drill. You just stick the drill in there and put a little piece of wire in on the end. And uh, when you do that, the little wire fits in one of the little cavities here on the drill. You can see there's the little three holes, the three cavities. For some reason, it just doesn't want to focus. There they are. And you just stick the wire in one of those little cavities and then hit the trigger and Five seconds later, you got yourself a cute little gizmo. I forgot what they used to call them, but they used to sell them commercially. I don't think they're on the market anymore. But in any case, they're too easy to make. And like I said, you can make them in any length that you want. So you can splice longer or shorter leads. It's particularly useful when you're changing a capacitor out in an old radio or something, and uh, you don't want to try to unsolder the wire for the capacitor from the terminal strip for fear of breaking everything else connected to it. So you just snip the lead off the capacitor or resistor, 
close to the body <clears throat> and then slip this over the end of it and then you solder it in and you're good to go. Just another thought. Hope it helps. Have a good day. N4MQ.